indeed for joining us. Hello, thank you for having me. Now, the coalition that uh, Saudi Arabia leads has been repeatedly accused by rights groups of unlawful airstrikes on civilian targets in Yemen. So what is a country that's dropping bombs on a country doing, pledging money to help those very civilians? Uh, Saudi Arabia has pledged 500 million in humanitarian aid. Correct. Um, uh, Saudi Arabia is uh, really dealing with Yemen for the last 30 or 40 years, and we have been uh, helping Yemen with a lot of infrastructure and economy. Saudi Arabia is uh, care. Uh, Saudi Arabia cares about Yemen because they're, they're our neighbor. They're, uh, we have tribal uh, relations, and we have uh, the same language and blood. So we, we really care about uh, Yemen. And uh, this uh, war that you mentioned uh, that Saudi Arabia is doing, we, uh, we, we did not choose this war. The Houthi militia that is backed by Iran uh, kidnapped Yemen from the legitimate government of Yemen. So the legitimate government of Yemen has seeked the help of Saudi Arabia to restore the legitimacy to Yemen. Saudi Arabia has done that through uh, a coalition that is in accordance with the international laws. Uh, we have been calling for uh, a political solution that saves Yemen's sovereignty and integrity, and also uh, uh, the Houthi the militia are the people who uh, reject all these calls, not by us, but by the international community and by the United Nations uh, envoy and by the United Nations Secretary General. So Saudi Arabia is continuing to help Yemen. They, we have uh, Saudi Arabia has already paid more than uh, about 17 billion dollar in the last five years uh, as a humanitarian assistant to Yemen, and it has also supported this, the Yemeni central banks by depositing three billion dollars to save the economy and the Yemeni currency. But isn't this money you're spending also about improving your image or the image of your country abroad? Our image needs no uh, no propaganda. We we have a very clear and uh, right image. We are there to try to help the Yemeni people to restore legitimacy. We are there to. Uh, comply with the international laws. We are uh, always welcoming the call by the Secretary General to have a, a political, reasonable solution that saves Yemen, according to the uh, GCC uh, initiative and the, uh, with the, the United Nations resolution and the dialogue outcome which is uh, normally uh, it should be the case. But the, the Houthis are receiving some orders from their sponsor, the Iranian, not to accept these things and to continue having the Yemeni people live in misery. Now, your operations in Yemen are very costly. So the war bleeding Saudi coffers for more than five years now. And now, uh, of course, your country is facing a huge crisis with the price of oil and demand falling. So. Considering all of that, the huge expense and the fact that really on the ground, it has to be said, there are no tangible gains, could the end of the operation be in sight? And why not perhaps uh, speak to the Iranians who've extended an olive branch? That is the international community. Uh, and uh, that's the international community duty to uh, exert pressure on Iran to get their hands off all uh, Yemen and also, you know, the Iranians are uh, destabilizing in the region, uh, starting from Lebanon to Syria and elsewhere, and also uh, here in Europe and many places. So they have their militia armed with our terrorist group that they're using to 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 have their mandate uh, uh, conducted. Now you said before. Um 
earlier in this interview, our image doesn't need improving, but it has to be said that the global reputation of your country was critically, uh, very severely damaged by the Jamal Khashoggi murder and then uh, the initial botched cover-up. The Saudi ambassador to London called it, quote, a stain on our reputation. Um, we at France 24 have spoken to Jamal Khashoggi's fiance, Hatice Jengi. She spoke to Sanam Chantier for a show called Middle East Matters, and she criticised the pardon Khashoggi's son has given his killers. I'd like you just to take a listen to, to what she had to say, and then I'll ask for your reaction. Absolutely. Justice still hasn't been served for this crime. And there are still a large number of questions which haven't been answered. The body has not been found. The Saudi royal family, as if nothing's happened, is still doing business, notably in the world of sport, and acting freely. We have to take action against this. Saudi Arabia in particular, the Crown Prince, uses this kind of business for soft power for their financial and political clout. When Jamal was killed as a result of the plot against him, the kingdom's image was tainted, and they're trying to restore it. We won't let them do this, which is why we'll keep working. Ambassador, we just heard there Hatice Cengiz saying she wants to know where Jamal Khashoggi's body is. Is there any chance she'll get that one day? That's uh, first of all, I would like to uh, raise uh, a fact that uh, this lady was not even recognized by the Khashoggi family. That's for one thing. And I think she is manipulated by an agenda that she is going after. And I don't know what, uh, but the, uh, as you are asking, the, the, the body of, uh, of uh, Jamal Khashoggi is in Turkey. And I think uh, the Turkish people should uh, find uh, the guy who, uh, who took it and who, uh, who buried it somewhere. The guy who, who took it, I mean, uh, th their killers have gone on trial in, in Saudi Arabia, so I don't quite understand what you mean there. No, no, what I, I mean, it is a Turkish man that uh, I think, uh, and I'm not really sure of this, but uh, what, uh, what I learned that is uh, a Turkish man that uh, has the body and uh, uh, took care of uh, maybe burying it. But the Turkish, uh, uh, the Turkish, government did not uh, cooperate with the Saudis in this respect, to be honest with you. I'd just like you to react to something else that Hatice Cengiz uh, told uh, our program Middle East Matters. She said there's no justice in your country in Saudi Arabia. She called for a neutral and independent trial, so clearly indicating there that uh, the one carried out in your country wasn't. What's your response? We have a, a justice system that is very independent and it is uh, well recognized and uh, nobody can intervene in it. So we, uh, that's our answer to it. And what about what the CIA and the UN have said, that uh, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman did order the killing? That's false news. That's not true at all. That, uh, that shouldn't be even asked. All right. Well, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you for speaking to us, uh, Ambassador Saad bin Mohammed Al-Arifi. Thank you very much.